Okay, so this is Sean, you know, from Sean Don, aka Thinking Just Entertainment. Um, me and Don thought about doing something new. They say the best way to get stuff off your chest is to confess what you have done. So, here's my confession. And it's going to be hard, but. This is my confession number one. Um, I have recently gotten out of a relationship that is partly my fault. Um, I don't encourage the whole cheating thing at all. Unless the other one is cheating or something is just totally wrong in a relationship. I, Sean, cheated on my spouse. He knows who he is if he ever views this. Uh, it wasn't intentionally. Started off as just text, really just text, and deleted the number. He texts me after saying how I didn't care about him, explained how much I care and love for my spouse. At this time, and still is, going through things, family problems, um, that he knows of, my spouse knows of, going through, you know, grandpa being deathly sick and deeper family problems that have recently occurred. My spouse, we just gonna call him Tommy. Mm was there at first and being how he likes to get in his little moods disappeared on me at the wrong time when I needed him especially when there's a certain relative that I'm going through these problems with try to become suicidal and seeing that I am the guardian of this relative and I'm all that person has it was hard and somewhat made me become suicidal you know this is not a joke this is not something that was written down this is all true yes for people that know me yeah I did you know go through my suicidal phase because of this relative trying to be suicidal cutting yourself and whatnot. So anywho, this person comes along. I explain to them I'm in a relationship. I care about my spouse so, 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 so much. And that I have no intentions on messing around with anyone. They say, cool. Friends is all I ever intend to be with you anyway. Is, is that cool with you? Yeah, I guess I don't have any real male friends that I could just talk to that's not gay. So, me thinking, what what, uh, what harm? What what harm could it cause? Like I can see, got text, whatever, I really wasn't feeling it, delete the number, they saying I wasn't feeling it, you know, saying I wasn't responding, or just hadn't texted them in a while, so they called back. Well, they text. This person gave me something so that when I fell down and alone, I would be able to think of them as if they were there as we're texting and talking and I'm expressing myself and crying and all that. My spouse and I somewhat, somehow became closer and even though I hadn't done nothing with this person, I felt as if he was still cheating. So what did I do? I made a little trip to them to deliver the item back. While down there, got the talking, chatting and whatnot, and I guess you could say talking and eating led to more talking, led to me crying, led to him holding, and 
you know, just really holding me and whatnot. And the holding went from him kissing my neck and all of that. And one thing led to another. During this whole time, my spouse is calling. And I answered. But my spouse was never supposed to find out about this person until I was ready to tell him, which I was. He seemed to think that I, I wasn't going to tell him, but it was just too heavily on my mind for me not to tell him. But in the meantime, I came up with a lie that I was in Shreveport with the girls. Total lie. Because one of them females I don't even click with like that. Anywho, cheated, came home. The person left Mark, Hickey Mark. My spouse saying it. We, like I said, we're going to call this person Tommy. Tommy saying it. Blew up about it. We talked about it. And for some strange reason, after talking about it, and I agreed on never doing it again, even though he has done his mess around plenty of times and had a whole girl lying to me talking about she was pregnant and even though I agreed to myself that I was still going to stick with him even if she was I was going to be a woman and stick by his side even though he messed around had a chick lying talking about she was pregnant I was going to stick by his side anyway but we ain't going to get into it he changed his mind about us being together and in this whole confession my old view on it all I might have did what I did, but there's no reason for a breakup. I really didn't see the point on you accepting my apology and, and us still being together, and then you all of a sudden change your mind. What was the point about changing mind? What did I stick around and hear you bitch about for? I could have been eating or something. Could have been getting my big bitch on and eating or something. But. If that person ever sees this video, at this point in time, I do love you dearly. Um, currently chatting with someone else who has taken a great interest in me. That is my confession that I have cheated. Really not a believer in it. Really. Really not. That was a one time thing. He seems to think it was purpose, but it wasn't. It wasn't payback or revenge, but he's gonna have his thought regardless. I really tried not to cry on this video, so if I sound a little, you know, clogged up, excuse me, it's the emotions. I guess that was the whole point on us doing a video on making decisions while you're angry. Don't. Because, like, him making a decision on us breaking up. Why, when we just talked about it, made an agreement that we could work it out. What was the point of me sticking through that whole lecture? I'm out, I'm gone, and y'all be true to yourself and to your spouse, because shit like this will happen, never thought it happened to me, but hey, I'm a good person though, I'm going to keep going, so y'all be good, this is Sean, signing out.